Okay, what we have here is the amp meter. The amp meter that's hooked to the battery, deep cycle battery. We got three battery chargers hooked up here. This is a 200 amp and also a 40 amp uh, a car charger. And we've got another small a test unit we built for charging batteries and power supplies. And then we have number three, big one. Okay, what we were doing here is we were uh, testing the new MOSFETs we have that are good for 110 amps each. Uh, we were running it uh, routinely at 150 amps uh, at about 20 cycles per second. We went up to 100 cycles per second, 1,000. Uh, it's all working good. We got to 10,000. Uh, these babies here started on fire. We actually had fire coming out of these things here. By the way, uh, FET, another slang for FET, is fire emitting transistors. Unfortunately, we didn't have the video camera on it, or you would have seen it. Uh, we've also got a cooling fan to assist cooling this because the, the positive bus here apparently wasn't getting enough uh, heat sinking on this little bracket we've got that heat sinks into the heat sink uh, because this thing should be running a lot hotter than it is. The uh, MOSFETs only were running about 90 some degrees. Got a thermometer here on the heat sink like the MOSFETs. We also have a, uh, a thermometer right here actually on the positive bus on the output leg and uh, it was running about 140 degrees with the uh, with the fan on here. Without the fan it runs over 220 degrees at uh, about 60 amp draw so we've got to still solve some issues with this positive bus and this is all because of the energy that's getting uh, backing back up into the uh, into the, the unit here because of the blocking diodes. Uh, we've got some battery cables here. These are actually fairly heavy battery cables. These were running very hot. You can still touch them but they were fairly hot. Uh, you know, even running 60 to 100 amps. So we definitely need to have very large battery cables uh, on these kind of units that are running high amperage. Another thing that we don't have right now is a, is a, a great big a capacitor, about one farad. Uh, they use it on the car amplifiers for the car stereos. So when you hit a big bass note, your lights don't dim. Now we're also going to put that big uh, farad capacitor here so it's going to decouple these battery cables from the battery so you're not getting this inductive uh, resistance going on through the cables. So that's going to also help improve performance a bit. So we're going to have to get some more of these MOSFETs, uh, possibly a better unit, uh, or restrict this thing to, you know, under 10,000 cycles per second at, you know, high amperage. Uh, I guess it's going to set us back a bit, and we're short on funds too, so we're going to have to wait for some more funding. Alright, thanks for watching.